Enlightenment, love, joy, and peace are often considered magnetic qualities. That's what we're going to talk about. That's how these four things attract success. Enlightenment, love, joy, and peace are often considered magnetic qualities because of the positive energy they emit, influencing personal experiences, interaction in various ways. So we see that when you embody these different qualities, all right, energies that you emit, all right, it influences your experiences. Now, you having these embodiments can influence any experiment or experience. Now you can turn a negative situation to a positive like that. A soft answer can wipe away wrath. You see what I'm saying? Knowing what to look for, discernment will begin to show you how to move. Now, let's talk about number one, magnetic self-alignment with purpose. This right here, these four things will help you self-align with your purpose. Enlightenment, particularly in the context of knowing oneself in connection to God and a higher purpose, can be magnetic. Understanding one's identity and purpose is believed to create a powerful alignment with the divine plan. That means alignment. In my program, we talked about design, align, and assign. In order for you to be assigned something, you have to be in alignment to something. And you have to be aligned to God's original design for what it is that you want to be assigned to. And you can learn more about my fulfillment program a little bit later. This alignment serves as a magnetic force, drawing in experiences, drawing in relationships, drawing in opportunities that resonate with one's authentic self and purpose. Things must resonate. The reason why y'all watch me is because you resonate with me. And the only reason why you resonate with me is because I am my authentic self. So when you are authentic, then you create an audience. Authenticity creates audiences. Audiences then creates opportunities for you to be successful. This alignment serves as a magnetic force drawing in experiences, relationships, and opportunities that resonate with one's authentic self and purpose. When individuals operate from a place of spiritual clarity, that's who you really are, they often find that their journey unfolds in a way that aligns harmoniously with their deeper purpose. This magnetic self-alignment can lead to a more fulfilling and purpose-driven life. What What has yet to unfold because you already folded? Hmm. Number two, attract. Oh, let's skip that. I don't think. um, Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Attracting similar energy. Positive states such as love and joy tend to attract similar energy. Do you know wealthy people are typically happy people? (laughs) Wealthy people are typically joyful people. I'm talking about typically not always. Even the sinners are happy because they got money. If you want to attract the wealth of the wicked, you got to be happier than the wicked. <laughs> you got to be more loving than the wicked. They got to know that you care. They got to know that you have some. They can't pay. Do you know people will pay you a lot of money to have what God gave you for free? How did you? How do you love your wife? That's a coaching program right now. How do you love your children? That's a program right there. That's a book right there. That's a a webinar. That's a that's a course right there. How how do you reach a place of joy in your business? How do you reach a place of joy in God? That that comes from being loving and joyful. When individuals operate from these frequencies, they often find themselves surrounded. <laughs> Surrounded by positivity, supportive relationships, and opportunities that align with their state of being. That's Lord, I'm telling you, that's I'm a living witness. I, I'm so I'm surrounded by blessings. I favor surrounds me like a shield because I'm in fellowship. When you are in fellowship with God, you have higher frequency. Higher frequency then starts emitting a, a higher levels of fulfillment. And then you'll begin to say, Man, I'm attracting similar people. People banging my email talking about, hey, can you, can, I want what you have. <laughs> and you know what I do? Holy Spirit gives me the program to teach them to have what I have by the grace of God. That's why I got to make sure I am loving and joyful around my wife. So when we, on, when we outside, <laughs> see, see at the basketball game, kids be, be smiling and be like, oh, because my wife will lay her head 
on my shoulder in front of 100, 200 people at a basketball game. My wife grabs for my hand when we're walking out. My daughter reaches for me. My daughter, like, that's what I want. I don't want to market in front of you all on the virtual online, something that I don't have in stock. Imagine me advertising a strong relationship with my wife and a loving foundation for my daughter. But when you see me in public, I don't re I don't match the energies that I'm delivering on this video screen. Managers have to match across the board. You just can't have this energy in profession. You can't have this energy just at your workplace. You have a work wife. Then you have a work husband. See? Then you start attracting similarities over there. That's actually, even though you're attracting that, doesn't mean that's what God wants to attract. Because when you know that you, when you know God's love, love limits. When you have the joy of the Lord, joy of the Lord doesn't mean that you're foolish and that you're out here wilding. You're still discerning. Each of these qualities are still discerning qualities. And so if you want to attract similar energy, match the energy. Keep that same energy. If you want to attract certain things, then you have to keep that same energy. So you got to start in, uh, asking people, what energy are you operating in? What are your habits that put you at that level of energy? What scripture do you read? What, what perspective do you have? How do you pray? Uh, how do you seek God? How do you, how do you love your wife? How do you love your husband? How do you serve your children? Uh, uh, how do you preach the word of God? And I feel the anointing there. I feel it as a residue all around me. And how do you do that? So that you can learn how to keep that same energy. Because when you keep that same energy, then you create synergy. When you create synergy, then you're financially set. Then you're relationally set for life. When individuals operate from these frequencies, they often find themselves surrounded by positive support. Like my wife, my daughter, my daughter's like one years old, but I'm saying she loved me. I can feel it. The people that I serve, they love me. I'm surrounded by support. Like it don't matter what happens in my life. I know for a fact I can I got I can call on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because of how I've been a blessing to so many people. This alignment is believed to enhance oh the wrong one. Uh and opportunities that align with their state of being. Could it be that the reason why you're not attractive, positivity, supportive relationships, and opportunities is because you're not in alignment and in keeping that same energy? Number three, positive resonance. People naturally resonate with positive energy. When individuals radiate enlightenment, ooh, 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 okay, okay, I'm, okay, I'm gonna go back. Think of all it goes. When individuals radiate enlightenment, love, joy, or peace, they create a positive resonance that can positively influence those around them. This, in turn, can lead to collaborative and supportive environments. Oh my goodness, understand that. Individuals want you to be you. If I started preaching like some of these preachers right now, y'all would fall off this channel. I ain't listening to you no more. You sound like them. If I want them, I'll go to them. But because I am who I am by the grace of God, and because I'm emitting Joshua Ijike Eze in his authentic self, because I'm emitting who I am authentically, people look for that. People want to know, yo, he is who he is, wherever he goes. Interview anybody around me. That's what you got to do. Can, could you get the same outcome if you, interviewed, if you interviewed everyone in your in your orbit? If you interviewed everybody in your orbit, would you still have the outcome of the feedback that you wish to hear? You have to be the same. That's a characteristics children of God embodies from their father. The Heavenly Father is being the same yesterday, today, and forever. And what I mean by that, I'm not talking about there's no growth. I'm talking about the same core qualities. People naturally resonate with positive energy. People resonate with individuals radiate enlightenment, radiate love, radiate joy, radiate peace. People surround those different people. And then if you actually have a, a solution to their problem, you see how then you can be successful in your business, successful entrepreneurship when you resonate with people because you embody these core, these core four. When you embody these core four, you'll never be poor. They create a positive resonance that can positively influence those around. Them. Do you know by you being yourself, you can in, you can uh, influence other people to want to be themselves? When you are loving your wife, do you know there's a husband looking at you right now saying, hey, man, I'm going to do better because he's doing better. When you when you're loving your husband and other women are going to be like, man, I want to be a wife. Like I remember when my, my wife and I were dedicating our daughter in front of the church. And there was this young man who's been following me, who's been with me for two years at the school that I serve. 
This young man came to me the next day and said, Mr. Ezzy, I want what you have. Bro, people are watching. <laughs> so I have to keep that same energy. This in turn can lead to collaborative and supportive environments. So this right now, when you can influence people by embracing the core four, then and then you inspire people to have the core four, then they'll be more patient, faithful, gentle, kind, and self-controlled people in our world today. Because in order for you to really be self-controlled as a husband or a wife or self-controlled as an entrepreneur navigating and single entrepreneur navigating the complexities of, of the lustfulness of this life, you, you, you got to have the core four. And we'll talk, maybe I have to do a part two on how the core four will, will ensure that you'll never pour spiritually, emotionally, mentally, financially, and professionally. High in creativity. Two more and I'm done. Thank you so much for watching my video. I pray that it was a blessing to you. And if it was a blessing to you, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share. And also make sure you check out the links in the description box below. Links to my books, card games, coaching programs that I believe will help you grow holistically for God's optimal use. I love you guys. I'll catch you next video. Peace.